Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. So today I have another squad ACK tutorial video for you guys. And so as you can see I'm on just on a empty map that I just created. And um, in this video I'll be quickly showing you guys how you can m create rivers in your map um, using the splines. In the previous video I showed you guys how you can make um, like an ocean um, with a plane and stuff. But um, in this one I'll show you guys how you can make a river using the splines. And um, so the first thing that I will do is just quickly make a small river by just um, making a little bit of a hole. And I'm going to use the, um, the flatten tool and then just make, I don't know, make a nice rubber going maybe not all the way but uh, make it like that and then move this one a little bit like so okay so we will start over here and um, I'm gonna quickly flatten it first I think it should still be fine here yeah. I'm just flattening the sides and um, you guys can do this as well if you want to and then so I'm gonna flatten this all the way or I think uh, till there should be fine okay and then you want to go to the manage tab and then um, click here and make sure you have edit spline selected and then here we're gonna hold control and left click and then um, I'm gonna make this maybe like 100 select it again uh, make this 100 I think that's big enough if not we can just always make it bigger um, yeah, this isn't big enough. Okay, um, I'm gonna select this one and just move it a little bit down, and then move this one up, and then a bit sideways. Okay, so if you have selected both, just click on control points, and um, if I select this control points, we make this maybe 400. Yeah, 400 is a bit better. Okay, so. The next thing that we'll do is we'll actually set the mesh. So, I'm gonna move this one up. And so, when you have this one selected, go to segments. And then, down here where it says fly and meshes, click the plus icon. And then, we're gonna choose here. Uh, just search for water. Um, maybe a river. And, um, hmm. Let's choose. I don't know which one is this. Let's see. It doesn't seem like this one is working. Remember, you guys can choose whatever you want to, but um, this one doesn't look this nice. So, um,. This one either. Okay, this one as well is not that great. Um, nope, that is not water. Um, not sure which one it was, but um, I'm looking for. Let's search for muddy. Aha, uh -huh, this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this one. You guys can choose whatever mesh you want to use. And so I'm just gonna move this one that that way. Oh, wait. Okay, like that. Okay, so over here, I'm now gonna select this one to the control point and then hold left control again. And then I'm just gonna make a few around this. We'll fix it now. 
So, I'm just gonna put a few down. I think till here it should be fine. And now I'm just gonna quickly um, make this one flat. So we could for say say this is where the it's like a little pathway or a bridge thing over the river. Okay, so let's go all the way back here and then we're gonna just raise these spline points a bit up so you can actually see the water. So um oops, okay. So I'm gonna move this one up. If it's if you're depending on how wide your river is, you will then just um hold e or press uh, r or uh, this one nope uh okay it doesn't show up but um you can just go independently then change the width of each every one of them if they're not wide enough so luckily for me i don't have to do it oh maybe a little yeah okay um anyways Let's uh, move this one a little bit down. Well, that's a fine height. And move this one up. Remember, guys, this all depends on how you want it to look like. So, I'm just going to do a few. But, um, once you guys have done this, you should be all good to go. Uh, there's no need to do anything else. Um, you should be able to uh, walk through it and stuff, and everything should be fine. So um, I'm just gonna do these last few. Over here, and this one. Okay, so. Once you guys have done that, your river should be all good to go. Now I'm just going to quickly select all of the control points and then just make the width maybe 500. Um, so they close everywhere. And that looks good. Um, yeah. I like it. Okay. Um, over here, seems like it's not... Um, wide enough still so I'm gonna select all of them again make the 600 okay well, that looks better okay so let's quickly test this out um, the physics materials of for these meshes should already be applied uh, by default so it should show this it should play do the splashing sound and whatnot so let's quickly make this full screen Oh, gonna be sure that should also have the water effect thingy. So yeah, that's how you can um, create a river for your map using splines. Um, if you guys do want me to make different tutorials or give me suggestions on what kind of tutorials you guys would like to see, um, please comment down below and tell me what you guys uh, would like me to um, make tutorials of but um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up um, if you didn't give it a thumbs down and also remember to subscribe if you haven't already and um, also share the video around and um, I'll see you guys in the next one